Hey guys, welcome back to this one. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about my journey into watch collecting. And today, I'm talking about my transition from a smartwatch back to a traditional watch. So I've had this Pebble Time for three years. It's been a great watch. It uh, was able to uh, notify me when I got messages on my phone without me having to take out my phone. And uh, I was able to change the watch faces, add apps, games. I was able to play games sometimes in places I shouldn't be able to play games. So there was a lot of cool things that I was able to do with this watch over the last three years. But now it's starting to look dated. You know, I, I have a scratch on the glass. The uh, strap is looking a little bit worn and I just started to feel that I wanted to go back to a traditional watch. I'm not saying that I don't like smart watches and I don't see the value in having one, but I think right at this point I want to start a collection and I want to share with you guys and, and document the journey on YouTube. So I'm going back to a traditional watch. So this one put aside, it'll be probably still my alarm clock, but other than that it won't be used on a day to day basis anymore. So it's retired now. So the next watch that will be making it onto my wrist is actually arrived today from uh, Amazon. And the link is in the description box below if you guys are interested in this watch. It's the Hugo Boss Hong Kong Sport. And when I first saw it online, I wasn't sure if I was going to get the same, uh, you know, if it was going to look the same when I actually got it in the mail. I've never bought a watch online before, so this is the first for me. And I'm going to show you guys the watch and uh, let's get into it. So as you guys can see, uh, this watch is really nice. It's got a look to it that uh, so far has gotten attention. People come up to me and ask me about the watch. I never got that with the smartwatch. People might ask me if some of the functions on the smartwatch, like the pedometer and things like that, what kind of things could it do in that regard? But they weren't looking at that watch the same way they were looking at this watch. And that's why I really wanted to get back into watch collecting and to traditional watches because I like when somebody appreciates the look of the watch. I like the look of the watch. So this one with its orange uh, crown and, and the orange just pops out at you when you look at it. It just feels nice. The weight of it, the strap, this leather strap is really nice. I mean, right now it's brand new, so it's got a bit of a stiffness to it, but we're going to get that to the point where it's comfortable in the next couple days. It's just a nice watch. And at under $150, I think I paid about $128 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, prices might vary, but under $150, this watch is a really nice watch for the price. I was also happy that it's made by Movado since Hugo Boss is licensed to Movado to make their watches. I know that I'm getting sort of a quality timepiece. It is assembled in China, but with Movado uh, being the manufacturer and the designer and, and all that kind of stuff that goes into it, uh, it felt a little bit more comfortable about buying this watch. So this is watch number one in my collection of traditional watches. If you guys like this type of content, uh, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, that you'll come back, that you'll like, and that you will follow me on the journey to the next watch. So we have two more watches coming in the mail this week and uh, I want to do reviews of those watches as soon as I can and share them with you guys and I will switch them out on a daily basis I'm not sure exactly what my uh, preference is going to be for using uh, the collection so it's going to be based I guess on my moods uh, the dress style so we'll go from there that's the, the joy of having varied uh, variety of watches and having a collection 
is that you can wear the watch that feels right for that particular time. So, you know, that's my take on the Hugo Boss Hong Kong Sport. I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. So don't forget to follow me on this journey and I hope as a watch collector that I'm reaching some of you guys out there and that at one point we will get a luxury watch but right now we'll do some reviews on watches that are in the 50 to 150 dollar range and we'll go from there so see you guys in the next one have a great day guys